Hi guys, if you are looking to develop your jazz vocabulary, check this out. That, of course, is the famous bebop tune by Charlie Parker called Donna Lee. And as you can see by the sheet there, which is in B-flat pitch, by the way, that also comes in E-flat concert and bass clef, you can see pretty much from every beat one to beat three, beat three to beat one, throughout that whole tune, I have included what type of vocabulary I am using. And actually, when you add it up, it's not very much. My name's Darren Lloyd, and I help intermediate jazz trumpet students and other instruments develop their ability to learn the chord changes, develop jazz vocabulary, and learn how to practice to take their playing forward. Just before we start the video, I have an amazing free training, totally free training coming up, guys. I'm going to put the link for that in the description. Okay, let's head to the laptop screen. Okay, guys, so let's look at this Donna Lee. Just remember, all the resources come in the different pitches as usual, B-flat, E-flat, concert pitch, bass clef. So, as I mentioned, beat one to beat three, beat three to beat one beat one to beat three, beat three to beat one. I'm not saying this is the way to do it. I'm saying this is the way that I've done it and that has really helped me and it's helping my students make great gains, okay? Because it, it just isn't so overwhelming. Each one of these type of things, you can practice individually. You can practice just enclosures. You can practice just chromatic enclosures. You can practice the fat slick. De -do -do -da. So here, we are enclosing the tonic, we are approaching the seventh, then we approach the third, we did the fat slip, da, do, do, da. chromatic enclosures, chord notes, chord notes, okay, and if you didn't know any better, when I was, you would just think, oh, that's a, a, a four bar lick, but it isn't, I don't, when I'm actually improvising, I'm going from literally target note to target note sometimes not beat one to beat three but sometimes beat one to beat one to beat one or what is my target note how am I going to get there I like to have very much a forward motion type playing in uh, in my approach and I'm going to put a link as well in the description to how Galper's forward motion book because it has helped me massively and where how's Book really focuses on this type of approach, approaching the chordal notes, approaching the target notes. I found that actually, rather than just using these approach notes, you can use enclosures. You can use this type of broken chord fat slick. You can use just chord notes. You can use chromatic enclosures. And then when you also incorporate into that just rhythm, uh, syncopated rhythm with chord notes, simple motifs, that type of thing, all of a sudden, it, you feel like you're improvising and not remembering big long licks. If that's the way you've been told to learn jazz, then that can work. That can work. But what I found is that you're very, it's very one dimensional. You are always, <laughs> if you've practiced, um, say, like a two, five, one lick, chord two in B flat to chord five to chord one, if you've practiced the chord, a two, five, one lick, you can only use that unless you've practiced it in all the keys. But <clears throat> and you can only use it on a 251. But if you understand about approach notes, about using the chord notes, about leading notes, 
and how to apply them to different notes of the chord. Not always we have to do it to this note, we have to do it to that note. Then all of a sudden the vocabulary starts making a lot more sense. Okay, we've got the leading notes. So if we just look here, I don't really need to go through and tell you everything that's going on. You can actually see that. But let's just look at what there is. There's enclosures, there's approach notes, there's the fats lick, there's chromatic enclosures, there's chord notes. So there's five. There's a leading note. That's six. Six different types. Motif, seven. Seven different types. And then if we just work our way down, there's nothing new. There's nothing new. It's fat slicks, fat slick, enclosure, approach, 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 approach. Of course, you need to know your chord notes and you need to know the scale that would you, you would use. You need to know a C7 scale. You need to know a C7, C minor 7. You need to know an F7 scale. You need to know the chords of F7 for this type of practice to work. But then you would need to know that anyway, okay? So whatever, there's no hack here, guys. There's no easy way, but there is an easier way and less overwhelming way I have found. And that is by learning in these small chunks. Okay, so I hope you enjoy Donna Lee. Let's listen to it one more time. And as I say, this resource is available to my Patreon students and jazz coaching programs. Just to mention, to finish off, I have an amazing free training coming up and I'm going to give you the opt-in page for that. This is what it looks like, the opt-in page. And it's not just going to happen once. I'm going to try and do this maybe mm, three times, maybe four times a year where I'm going to do some type of training where I teach everything I know and you'll see how the whole thing is put together. It's not just going to be about chord scales, all the different types of enclosures. I'm also going to talk about goal setting. I'm going to be talking about perfect practice, targeted practice. I'm going to talk about articulation, swing, feel, listening in a meaningful way that will take your playing massively forward. So everything I've learned basically in about the last 30, 35 years of practicing jazz. So here, there's what the link looks like and it will be in the description. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped you. Bye for now.